Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here, and I have a tutorial for you guys in No Limits 2. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make BM inverted uh, loop supports. So let's get started here. So, first, you need to make a loop, of course. <laughs> Alright, so um, after you've done this, go to unfreeze your loop or in, in part of your coaster and make it a um, go to style and make the spine type medium box. I, th I just think that medium box looks a little bit better than the standard for inverted coasters. Alright, so after you've done that, go ahead and freeze it and make a new coaster. Let's call it loop support. There we go. And go to coaster properties, go to style, make sure this is new, or just make sure this is the same style or worn type as your coaster so, so it all matches and whatnot. So go to new and go to supports, add free node, and look at the sky. There we go. And add two nodes here. So one right here, one up here. Make sure you can see it. There we go. And same thing on this side. One up there and one up here. All right. So now once you've done this, go to a front view or side view, wherever you can see the side of the loop. Um, so you can see the supports and everything the support beams and go to snap on doesn't matter what snap you have just as long as you can snap it to a line somewhere and I'll probably start right about here there we go and same up here let's move this right about there and let's grab this other one here do the same thing let's move this down there we go alright so those should be even all right, now let's go to perspective and line each one of these nodes up in the middle of the track. So wherever it is on the track, just line it up right in the middle somewhere. So I'm going to turn snap off and go ahead and grab this, line it up somewhere in the middle, just like that. Same one down here. Okay, and I'll slide the back up again on front view. So snap them to the line so I can turn snap on. There we go. And same up here. And make sure they're lined up still going this way. Which they are. This can be moved over just a tiny bit. Alright, so now once you've done this, go to add beam, go to support panel, make sure the custom color is the same color as your track or your track spine. And this orange right here, there we go. Go to custom box beam. And make sure you set vertical beam first, then change the width to about three feet and the height to 1.6. And close that out. And add the beam here. Freeze. Okay. Now unfreeze it. Now we can shift this entire thing over just a tiny bit here. So I'll grab it and move it over. Turn snap on. All right, now go back to perspective and make sure they're lined up. Okay, all right, now let's freeze that again. Okay, so now we see, you can see that we need to extend the top a little bit. So unfreeze and go to start or the end, whichever way um, or whichever node you started from. You might need to change it, so go to support panel and let's try to start first and see how that's on that end. We don't want that, so. Control Z support panel, make it at the end, just make it one foot and freeze. There we go, a little bit more. So unfreeze again, support panel, oops, support panel there, and let's try 1.5 and freeze. Alright, there we go. Alright, now see how this, this has a gap right here? So we can fix that by adjusting this node a little bit. Same up here, same with up here. So let's grab this one right here and move it over just a tiny bit. Going this way and same up here. Let's move this over just a little bit. There we go, let's test that out. All right, sticking through the track at the end a little bit. So let's move it again.
All right, now once you've got it adjusted to the height that you want and everything and the size, now go back to your original track, unfreeze it, go to supports. Right now I'm just gonna use prefabs. So prefab panel and like select the, uh, where is it? This one right here. And let's add the prefabs here. So go ahead and add, in, add them right underneath. And just make it, make sure that these two lines right here just touch the bottom, just like that. And let's atomize these. There we go. And go to top view. And grab these two and move them over. Oops, let's not do the whole thing. There we go. Let's just grab these two right here. Alright, now when you freeze it, you should have a good looking loop. So let's test that out. Alright, there we go. So now we have our BM loop uh, loop supports here. Alright, hey what's up guys? I'm back and here's the final product with the BM supports. I think it came out really nice. Uh, they aren't too difficult at all. A lot of people should be able to do them. And uh, if you guys want to see uh, BM sit down loop supports, just let me know. I'll gladly do a tutorial on that. And if you guys have any more suggestions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And also, I have been working on the support scenery pack, so that should be coming out pretty soon here. Um, and if you guys have any more suggestions for the support scenery pack and things you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments also. So, with that, uh, like and subscribe and share for more.